Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Al's Cards Review. Today we're going to be reviewing the Gundam 00 Command Pont T. I have no idea how to pronounce this, but yeah, it's another Gundam Breaker Battle Log. So let's get into it. Um, Alright guys, here we have this monster built. Um, let's talk about what things that it comes with. It comes with one extra hand, which that's it. Um, everything else is on him. Uh, as you can see, it comes up. It's bulky because he has a lot of what, weapons. Ah. Yeah, he has a lot of weapons. Who the pots go blast off? Um, so as you can tell, the first weapon is this gun right here. Um, it's pretty long, it has a blade. Pretty cool. Uh, the way it works is you just put it on. Um, so let me just take it off. It doesn't want to let it go. Oh, it's sturdy. Like the weapons are not going to fall off. That is a plus in my book. So let me just take it off. It doesn't want to let go. Uh, but yeah, so it has this little peg. And as you can tell, this little thing right here is what's going to hold it. Um, now, if you don't want this weapon, he has storage for it. Just put it on back there and he's able to hold it. You can switch it off for the sword and go, let's go. Bam. Now he's a knight ready to fight, slash and cut or dice, whatever. Uh, the other weapon that it comes with, same thing. Storage, beautiful. You don't have to carry anything around. Is this shield? Um, yeah, the shield with the gun. Like, this guy seems more American than anyone I know. But yeah, you could. Uh, oh, he fell and died. What do you know? But no, uh, the shield does come off obviously and it holds two different knives on it so you could take these off and they do he does hold them they're a little bit loose but once again they're not gonna fall off and same thing with the shield the uh, shield is, although it fell off right now it's actually pretty sturdy if you just gotta make sure it clips on um, with the little clip, and you see, it's actually pretty sturdy. Fortunately, you don't have somewhere to store the shield, so there's that. And the last thing that it comes with is with the fireworks from the well, the rocket launcher. You can tell, yeah. And that, um, it does come with a couple stickers. So this is a sticker right here. So how shiny it is. These beautiful eye colors. Stickers. Uh, these yellow. Um, they have st are stickers. Well, to be more precise, they're stickers and then you put a yellow cap over it. Um, and you cover the stickers. So the stickers are, I'm pretty sure they're gonna stay there pretty nice and solid. Um, and I'm not going to have any issues with it. There's hope. Uh, there's a sticker in the back. And there's one more sticker on the shield. And that's this little tiny gold right here. So the stickers work really well with the Gundam. As for movements, it's the same as every other Gundam breaker. Uh, he gets a ball joint in the head, but unfortunately, he cannot look up really high. If he does, pop, it comes out, but he does have movement. He does have side to side, uh, but no 360. As for the arm, uh, it's a ball joint. So it does move forward, it does move backwards. Oh, 360 right here. 
Uh, this does move front. And then what I thought was pretty cool is the wrist. It actually has some wrist action. Um, the wrist goes up and down. I thought it was pretty cool. And then you can twist and turn his arm. You could rotate his arm. But, oh, yeah. It's just a peg. But, oh my god, that scared me. He does have some swivel dances right here. Um, these do move as well. He has a nice spread. And a good stretch. Same thing for the legs. Uh, what's the, this much forward? This much back. But he has a second back where you can just lift this up and there you go. Um, but then that prevents that from moving. But yeah. And then the last, he does have a uh, crazy ankle pivot, I guess. Did you break his leg? Um, no, and he does have a twist. So he's very posable. Uh, I actually had him stand for a couple days, have him in different movement, uh, have him holding different weapons, and like I said, he held on pretty tight. So I really recommend this Gundam. Um, I like him a lot. I have no issues with him whatsoever. The stickers are not peeling off. He's holding on pretty tight. Uh, so yeah, I, I will get them. All right, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Uh, and let me know if there's anything else you guys want me to review. All right, peace. So yeah, as soon as I forget to mention, really quick, if it's not obvious, this yellow is also a sticker. And your sticker in the front of the gun and in the back. Don't know why I forgot. It's probably because I hate stickers.